I'm back to Surf City. I put some doors in today. I already did the windows. I already did the roof. Tickled to death with it. We did have a situation. This window, for some reason, in the hallway leaked. I'm not sure exactly why. I don't know exactly why, but we'll fix it. I'm going in. And the kitchen window. We got to put the kitchen window in, but it's not going to be here till Thursday. Huh? Hanging up on the wall. Yeah, these windows turned out real nice. We used the atrium windows. Get them at Builders first. Really nice. Changing this one. Clean up the mastic. one out. Yep, that looks nice. So this is a six panel steel door for a mobile home. Where the, where the keyhole? Can we see anything? Nope. Yep, so it's a real nice door. It's a steel. I like the original aluminum door. A little bit more expensive but a little safer. Alright, so uh, we got the door out, got the knobs on, and we opened it up. And the first thing we found out was that the outside wall over here is sagging and you can actually see it once you of course put the door in and so when we open the door first thing that happens gets to about there starts rubbing well obviously that's no good so we said to ourselves well hell how is that other door in here because we put it in the exact same spot so we come out here and look at this door something we didn't pay attention to was Whoever's messed with this door has cut the door and they removed the sweep on the door so there's no sweep to keep the water out from inside the door. And this is all bent bent and beat up. So this was a longer door and they shortened it and stuck it in here. And they just made it made it work. But that's terrible. You know, you never get a seal across the bottom of your door. And that's the outside of your house, so you don't want that. So I went to the uh, only other alternative we had, and that's got, I got two guys under this place. I got some blocks, and we got a jack, and we got some wedges. And we looked under here to start with, and there's a pier sitting right under this door, which is normal. Well, that pier was completely loose. The wood on top of it uh, had deteriorated. So the house is actually not sitting on anything. So that tells me that's why this door wouldn't, wouldn't open. So if we can raise this side of the door right here, then we'll be able to uh, open this door. The only other thing that I'm worried about when I do that is that the door here at the top then hits the door jam on the top and we jack it up. We only have a quarter of an inch. If that happens and the door's still not fully functionally uh, functional, we'll have to, at that point, jack this side of the house up, which will bring this side up again and, and uh, just go there. We don't want the bottom plate to be up off the uh, floor. We want that to be solid so that every time you walk across it, you don't have that thing dipping down and then eventually it just breaks. So what we're doing here is trying to take all the care in the world so that we don't have to do anything to this door to, to uh, make it open as you can see the gap and it's touching the floor there so not good. Sagging outside wall. Um, the piers might need to be uh, looked at and jacked up a little bit and some new wedges put under them because this thing has sunk under been underwater before so I can see That would be an issue Down the hallway looks real nice, but just when you get right to this kitchen right here while well, that pier was gone Yeah, buddy No, I'm just what I'm just nothing. What do you got going on? Same thing Still has to come up quite a bit I still can't even open it straight without it rubbing the floor. Sagging situation. House is sagged on this outside edge. This place flooded. Salt water, of course. So um, there's a lot of rust going on. There's um, beams that run across your mobile home like that every so often. And they go across the main frame that goes down the middle. And that's what your outside walls, right down through here, 
are built on top of so they kind of sit on them supported by the main frame a lot of them have uh, started deteriorating pretty bad I think the only way to the best thing to do would probably be do like we're doing put a few piers on the outside of this house so that this pier is holding up the outside instead of them braces that are on there that naturally that are rusting so badly and getting a little weak letting the outside of the house drop down a little bit from the middle so we got to jack it up so we can get this door to open properly so that it's not like that door that they beat the hell out of the bottom so we've got this pier over here wedged up and we've got the door now to where it will open almost straight so now we're going to go back over to this side and right under that door jam I'm going to raise it up just a little bit and that should help me with a little bit of the pressure over here and hope if we can get this door to open up to them chairs without rubbing the floor that would be wonderful that's what we're looking to do and also it's going to help obviously on the outside wall it's, it's taking up some of that sag that's in the floor fingers crossed all right all right not something you're going to be able to put a rug in front of obviously Except for the cord in the door, I'm not going to close it. We got the back door. Operates real well. These can have deadbolts added to them, by the way. So they're made so that if somebody wanted to have a deadbolt, it's not a terrible idea. Maybe you would bring this <clears throat> key to Lowe's and have them make a deadbolt to it, and then they sell a little tool that cuts that hole. It's pretty simple. The main doors, the bigger doors, and more expensive doors with the peephole come with the deadbolt already installed. I kind of like that, <clears throat> but they sure are expensive. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we sealed over this hallway window. Had a little, little bit of a place we seen where water could come in. Got our back door installed. Don't actually have to pull it that hard. Looks pretty tight. I don't see any air around it. Mm -hmm. Looks good. So that's three doors. Cleaning up right now. There's one of my guys. We installed them piers underneath the floor up here. Resecured that one that was there and added another one so that this door would operate without having to be beat up on the bottom or our drip plate um, being torn off of it. We don't like that. So let me see what's next. Okay, getting ready to install our spring accessories for the door. So that's the next thing. Installing the spring on the door or the shock storm door hardware. Here we go. All right, well, happy, happy, joy, joy. Ended up taking the whole door out again. Because after we jacked the floor, the screen wouldn't close. So we got it back out. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, that's nice. Look at there. Come on, baby. Oh, sweet. Close real nice. Um, yeah, there should, there's a key out there. Yeah, that's the keys to the door, and they're working right. Good, good. The other doors just lock. Listen, all the keys are right here for your doors. Right there in the top corner of your door, I got them keys. Them ones just leave on the counter, the extra ones. So that's the extra ones for the front door are going to be on the counter. There'll be two hanging in the shed, Where right? Spike's got it. Okay. And then this one back here. Well, let's close that. And the front door got a deadbolt now. Front door, yes, the front door does have a deadbolt. We, we can get deadbolts for these doors. These doors can get deadbolts. Done. Looks real good. All right, what's got going on? Anything else? Close out the lights. I would definitely recommend deadbolts. So actually, probably. Hate to say, I wish I, I wish I'd have done them already. Just thinking about it, I didn't even realize they came with a deadbolt, but these ones did. Possibility of one, anyways. All right, we sealed this window above. 
and we did find on the outside right at the top there was a little gap that the mastic didn't cover window looks nice this door does open all the way now so I'm sure you're gonna like that closes nice deadbolt seals we're good to go all right thank you for the work now again we're coming back here one more time for this window it was supposed to be in this Thursday, but with the holiday, I guess they got behind, and it will be in this next, this coming Thursday. And uh, we'll come down and slap that in. It won't take any time at all. We'll finish it up, and make it look like the rest of these windows that we put in with the trim all the way around. Picture frame. We're out of here. Thank you for all the work here in Surf City. We do appreciate it. Do appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, it real quick though hey, we didn't do much in that room this one here we replaced the whole ceiling the back wall and the closet yep. paneling hallway ceiling bathroom ceiling panel ceiling panel here and the wall back there and they painted it and it looks really nice y'all did a good job painting looks nice recording you did that there's ripping a home repair we also do mobile home repair if you're interested. Give us a call, 910-845-2207. See you then.